Today I'm going to be going over the locations of all 12 Tears of the Dragon memories in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The storyline in this game is amazing, so trust me, you do not want to miss out on these memories. And just so you know, this video does not contain any spoilers, so I'm not going to be showing any of the memories. I'm just going to be showing you the locations of all of them and how to get to them. Also, you don't need any story progression to get these memories, so you can basically do this at any point in the game. I know it's kind of confusing, but when you begin the game, you get the second memory. And then to get the first memory, you have to start the quest to get the Master Sword. But once you actually get the Master Sword, it gives you the last memory. So if you want to watch all the memories in order, you should get the quest for the Master Sword so you can get the first memory, and then get all the other memories, and then finish the Master Sword quest so you can get the last memory. So start the quest for the Master Sword so you can get the first memory, and I have a full video out on how to do that. And then once you've done that, come back to this video so you can get all the other memories. Since you got the first memory, now you have to get all 12 Tears of the Dragon memories. And for the first one, you have to go to the new Serene Stable and find Impa right here. Once you're there, you just need to reassemble the hot air balloon and then talk to Impa and she'll ask you to go into the hot air balloon with her to see the geoglyph. Then you just need to light the furnace and hop into the hot air balloon before it flies away. Bye, have a great time. And now that you can see the whole geoglyph, jump off and land on the right eye. Once you approach it, you'll see this little puddle. And once you interact with it, it'll show you memory number three, Tear of the Dragon number one, which I'm not going to show. After that, Impa will tell you to go to the Forgotten Temple, which is located right over here. And you want to make your way to this exact spot. This is where the entrance is going to be. Once you're there, you just need to climb up a little bit, and then you'll find Kato. And if you talk to him, he'll tell you to go further into the Forgotten Temple. There is going to be some enemies, but you actually don't need to fight them. Then you just need to climb up this wall. I don't know what Link is doing. Then just go a little bit more, and you'll find this shrine. And then Impa is just going to be sitting right here. And she'll say that something's related to geoglyphs in here. Then you just need to follow this path. Until you find this big map of Hyrule on the floor. Then Impo and Kato will come to see what you found. The walls will show a picture of each geoglyph that you need to find to get each memory. There's a total of 12 geoglyph memories. And if you look at the map on the floor, it shows you a rough location of each one. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you the exact locations. The second dragon tier is going to be located in the Hebra region. And it's going to be located right on this little circle thingy. And you can already see it from here. It's going to be that filled in tier in the center. Once you land, you'll see a little puddle. That'll be the fourth memory, tier of the dragon, number two. The third tier of the dragon memory is going to be located in the Elden region, right in this little clump of trees. <gasps> the place they want to land is on the middle tier of the parapad. And that is memory number five, tier of the dragon number three. Tier of the dragon number four is going to be located at the bait tree, bait tree, bat tree, lake. And it's going to be right in this little indent in the trees. And when you're gliding down, you can already kind of see it. It's like that colored in section right over there. And that is memory number six, tier of the dragon number four. Tier of the Dragon number 5 is going to be located in the Gerudo Highlands, and it's going to be right next to Sophia's table. As you're gliding down, you can already see where you want to land. It's going to be right on that middle tier. And that is memory number 7, Tier of the Dragon number 5. Tier of the Dragon number 6 is going to be located on the Illumini Plateau. And if you look really closely, you can see these two trees, and if you make a triangle with them, that's where you want to go. And once you're there, another way to find it is if you look southeast from this boulder, you'll find a balloon. Then just head that direction until you find the filled in teardrop. And that is memory number 8, Tier of the Dragon number 6. Really quickly, I just wanted to say if you're enjoying this video so far, why not consider subscribing? Because it helps me out a ton, and I'd really appreciate it. Now, back to the video. Tier of the Dragon number 7 is going to be located at the bottom right of the map, right on this hook-shaped thing. And if you look over here, you'll find this, like, box-shaped indent. Then you just want to go right next to it. This memory was a really good memory. You'll see what I mean when you see it for yourself. That was memory number 9, Tier of the Dragon number 7. Tier of the Dragon number 8 is going to be located in the north to bend the snowfield, and then it's just going to be right in between this plateau and this plateau. Ooh. So these are the little pinchers, or whatever you want to call those in the middle, and then the teardrop is just going to be right over here. And that is memory number 10, Tier of the Dragon number 8. Now if you're doing this in memory order, then now is the time to complete all four parts of Regional Phenomenon, the Zoro, the Rito, the Goron, and the Gerudo, and then after that you gotta go to Lookout Landing and then talk to Pura, and she'll tell you to go investigate the floating part of Hyrule Castle. And there's gonna be something there where you have to defeat a bunch of enemies, and then there's gonna be a boss fight, and then after that you can continue the Tears of the Dragon memories. Tear of the Dragon number 9 is gonna be located right next to Zora's Domain, and it's on the Talus Plateau. And if you zoom in, you'll see this little circle thing, and that's where you wanna land. Ooh. And that is memory number 12, Tear of the Dragon number 9. Tear of the Dragon number 10 is located right next to Lake Hylia. And if you look to the left of the lake, you'll find this little indent. That's where you want to go. And also, if you look over here, this little whoop is pointing to it. I thought I felt a little freak. Ooh. And that is memory number 13, Tear of the Dragon number 10. And now we've reached another break in the memories. So after doing the thing in Hyrule Castle that you needed to do for memory 11, Pura is then gonna tell you to do something in the depths. And I'm trying to be very vague so I don't give anything away. But just do the main storyline quests involving the depths, and that will give you memory 14. 
Tear of the Dragon 11 is located right here on this rock. Ooh. And that is memory number 15, Tear of the Dragon number 11. And after that, a cutscene will play, which I'm not going to show, but it'll tell you to go to the Rist Peninsula. It's on the top right of the map. Once you're there, you'll find a little puddle, and that is memory 17, Tear of the Dragon number 12. So congratulations, you're done with the Tears of the Dragon memory. But there's still one more memory that you have to get. Now you have to do the thing I was talking about in the beginning of this video. You have to get the Master Sword, and that will give you the final memory. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then smack subscribe and like the video. But with that said, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.